The Pitbull Terrier is renowned for its strength and power, and at this kennels in New Hampshire, they breed them as protection dogs. If you bit down on somebody's arm with full power, it will snap your arm like a toothpick. But despite the breed's often fearsome reputation, they show a softer side around the house. I want to get on Hulk. You want to get on? All right. Yes. Get up there. I don't think it's your responsibility at all for, for people to have pit bulls and, and their children. I mean, they're, they're dogs just like any other dog, and no matter what the breed, it's all completely on how you raise them. We do dogs for, you know, basic, from the average family person all the way up to, you know, high profile celebrities, billionaires, doctors, lawyers, bankers. I, mean, I do dogs for police, uh, I do dogs for feds. I mean, we, we have all kinds of clientele. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he bit his tongue. He bit his tongue. Dark Dynasty Canines International train the dogs to work under extreme conditions, <laughs> making them an elite breed sought after for their temperament. Yeah. Realistically, it's 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 testing who they are. It's te it's challenging them. You know, that's what we do. We're constantly going to throw challenges in front of them because creating that fearlessness is what makes a good protection dog. I'm going to try to hijack this car. I'm going to be sitting in the back seat. Uh, I'm running away. Um, he's going to send a dog. The dog is going to jump through the window and come attack me. He's going to have a muzzle on. He's going to fight me. All right, come out of the car, sir. I'm going to send the dog. I'm not coming out. Attack the beast. <clears throat> <laughs> These dogs are absolutely fearless because they are trained to be 100% fearless. They fear nothing. And that is the point. They know no defeat. Marlon's prized dog is Hulk, a 17-month-old pit bull, who weighs in at 175 pounds. He captured the world's attention earlier this year, when a YouTube clip of him had over 1 million views in a week. The Hulk is probably top three biggest pit bulls in the world. Not probably is top three biggest pit bulls in the world, no question. And he's the youngest, you know, by far. Uh, and he's the prettiest, by far. Well, a dog like Hulk can cost you anywhere from 2500 to 25000 Well, I have one of his, his sons who will possibly might be sold for around 30000 you know, just based upon, you know, who he is and, and, and you know, what he does and who we are. Come on, buddy! <laughs> no, I, I, I would never consider selling Hulk. I, I've been offered 100000 250000 500000 I mean, you could throw $10 million in front of me, I'd throw it right back at you. You know, the dog is priceless, period. But despite the awesome power of Hulk and the other dogs, three-year-old Jordan has grown up with them within arm's reach. I have no concerns about any of the dogs around my son. They're amazing family dogs, and with the training that they go through, they're used to, to going against grown men and multiple grown men and, and loud noises, and they go through extensive training. So the little things that a, a kid might do to to I mean, like a regular dog startle the dog or anything isn't gonna isn't gonna phase ours at all. They're amazing family dogs. Well, for the people that say their dogs just randomly flip out, they're not paying attention because that doesn't actually happen. You know, there's something that's going on throughout that dog's life that's a constant that he's he's, he's got to a breaking point or something like that. And the family is proud of its reputation for producing some of the best protection dogs in the business. Good boy. The main difference between us is, is the level of care that we put into these dogs. You know, we are dogs. You know, we live and breathe this world every single day. You know, so the amount of care that goes into it is like nothing out nowhere else in the world. You know, I mean, it's very, 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 very important what I'm doing. Like most people don't realize where they live. It's like you or I. I live out here in New Hampshire. There's no crime out here. You know, I'm not worrying about that kind of stuff. You know, but to say, I got clients from Granada, I got clients in Africa, I got clients in terrible, terrible places. They don't live in Candyland, they live in fear. You know, and why should somebody else live in fear when they don't have to? So that, that's my job, is to help alleviate fear from people's lives, you know, by giving them a family member as well. <laughs> 